Hi all, let's talk about what is aggregate transformation in SSIS and what is its purpose and how to configure in SSIS. Aggregate transformation is the one which helps you to perform some aggregate operations. It is a very familiar word with us. So you can perform like a group by maximum, minimum, average and some operations on the SSIS sources. So there are couple of operations you can perform on the SSIS. Let me show you what are all the operations you can perform in SSIS data flow task. See if you see here, uh, there are around like a seven to eight operations you can perform. First one is a group by. So group by is the one which help you to divide the data set into groups and group by works on any data type. Second one is the sum. When I say sum, it's a kind of numerical operations and it help you to sum the values. Third one is the average. So average again works on the numerical data types only. It help you to give you the average of the couple of values. Next count. So it simply gives you the number of items in the data set. Count distinct. It returns the number of non null values in the group unique non null values in the group. Next minimum it gives you the minimum value and maximum it gives you the maximum value. So these are all the operations are inbuilt in the aggregate transformation in SSIS. Now let us see how to implement in SQL Server data tools. So I have designed a data source which are of having which are of having four columns and four rows. If you see the column names ID employee, employee name, salary and department number. So in this data, I want to identify the maximum salary on each department side, maximum salary on each department side. So when I say maximum salary, so here the, I need to work on the salary component and department number component. So department number can be a string because I need to perform a group, group by operations in the aggregate but I need to identify the uh, maximum salary and the salary component. So I am reading data from flat file source for better results. Let's convert the salary column into a integer column. Then you can easily and you can get the accurate value when you convert into a integer. So let me convert first the salary column into integer. So I am going to convert the salary column to integer with the help of the data conversion. Let me show you that. So in the data conversion transformation, so I make this input column as a salary. I am giving the um, output alias as a salary max. You can give whatever the name you want. And I am keeping a data type as a four byte unsigned integer. Default data type is a string because I am reading from the flat file source. Let's click on OK. Now let's go to the aggregate transformation. In the aggregate, as discussed, I am planning to calculate the or I am planning to identify the maximum salary on each department so that I need to perform a group by operations on the department number and maximum operation on the my salary. So I'm keeping the same name for the output alias. So here I'll be getting only two columns in the output because I need output on the department wise maximum salary. That's the reason why I'm performing these two operations. Let's click on OK. And for dummy to observe the output, I'm taking a dummy transformations to enable a data viewer. To enable a data viewer, I needed two controls. In between two controls only, I can enable a data viewer. So let's save it. Let's run this. So once you run this, here you will be getting department wise maximum salary. If you see here, 10th department maximum salary is 10,000. 20 uh, department maximum salary is 6,000. So this is how you can configure the aggregate transformation SSIS. So in this example, we talked about audit uh, aggregate transformation and data conversion and data viewer. Thank you. That's it.